Kia ora. Welcome back to another episode of uh, video podcast series Influences at LU with me, your uh, host Hafsa Ahmed. Uh, this is where I'm going to be addressing specific uh, expert questions, asking the faculty experts for uh, topics that the world really needs answered. So today is going to be a very unusual session because uh, I'm going to be talking to myself. This is going to be a more of an epilogue where you will be looking at the t where I believe I'll be looking at the topic which relates to my expertise, which is uh, stakeholder engagement. So the topic I have called is overcoming project stakeholder myopia for project success. And turns out, like I said, uh, I'd be interviewing myself. So a very brief interview uh, intro to myself. Uh, I am a lecturer at Lincoln University, like everyone else who has been on the show. And I specialize in change management, stakeholder engagement and project management. So what am I going to be uh, doing here is looking at, uh, so instead of looking at me, you'd be looking at a slide and I'd be focusing on covering the idea of um, stakeholder engagement particularly for projects. So um, project management is a very big uh, and a vast field which has around uh, five decades worth of expertise and research and you may have heard of a lot of project management institutes that exist across the world and obviously the certifications. But that's not what I'm gonna be talking about. What we do uh, realize is when we are managing projects that we have to ensure that they deliver success and th that the projects need to align with the strategic objectives of the business that the project is being undertaken for. But what you will notice is that, and what research highlights is that many projects fail to deliver within the timeframes that have been highlighted and within the budgets and also that there are some concerns that exist with the project that that are really key to be addressed to ensure that the project is a success when you begin a project obviously the key question that you ask is why are we doing this project what is it going to help the business achieve what is going to be need to be delivered as an outcome of this project you know what what are we going to be needing in terms of resources However, the focus of my session or my discussion today is going to be who, you know, who is the, uh, who is the key, who are the key people I need to be talking to or be look, being, uh, or be conscious of when I begin a project. So the topic I have titled is overcoming project myo stakeholder myopia for success is because I believe that there is often the element that the project stakeholders are not identified appropriately. So how can you overcome project myopia for the success of a project? The first thing is you want to define what, um, what, what you're calling as myopia. For me, myopia is uh, short-sightedness or the lack of foresight in terms of determining who your stakeholders are. And that then leads to a consecutive question about what, what is the objective of a project manager? So when you are getting a project manager, what, what, are, what are they here for? Obviously the objective that you are getting a project manager for is for the achievement of a goal that you have set up for them within the constraints that the organization has and the project has. But the literature says that the key purpose of uh, the project manager is to ensure that they deliver these objectives and these objectives are fundamentally driven by the needs of the stakeholders so when we are defining stakeholders we are the literature is very clear that it is anyone who can influence or be influenced by the project that you're undertaking and therefore making the need of the stakeholders is critical when you are a project manager. And the stakeholders become really key when you're trying to deliver these uh, objectives of your project. And all organizations have stakeholders. And there is, again, extensive research that is available on how to manage your stakeholders. And the fact that 
literature has acknowledged that stakeholders uh, engagement or management in this case management of your stakeholders is a key responsibility that management has therefore it is very important that you develop the appropriate responses to maximize the outputs that you are getting with minimal disruption uh, a key way to examine your stakeholders is by asking specifically these three questions who are they what do they want how are they trying to get what they want and for the last question the, the, the most effective way of determining that is based on what is available out there in research and literature is the idea of attributes examining your stakeholders attributes that is determining what it is that they are exhibiting as an attribute which can be either the element of power just because of the position they have the element of legitimacy in the sense how legitimate is their concern or the issue that they're raising and the urgency associated with what they bring forward by identifying this it helps you as a project manager i didn't not not just identify to whom you need to pay attention but also to what you should pay attention Therefore, uh, it, is, it definitely makes sense that when you are a project manager, you replace the stakeholder as the main unit of analysis as against the project as the main unit of analysis because that'll help you deliver a successful project. And there is growing emphasis that is uh, being made available out there to suggest that projects need to become stakeholder centric and not remain just focused on a project centric approach and if you wish to read more about my research there are the details are available under the um, the staff profiles and you can go ahead and read the articles available there however this concludes season 1 of the influences at lu uh, video podcast series but i will be back with more sessions that will that will be available subsequently with uh, other experts from our faculty and if you have any questions or want to give us some feedback about the season one feel free to um, head to my linkedin page uh, hafsa ahmed or you can drop me an email at hafsa.ehmad uh, at lincoln.ac.nz. And for now, Kakitiano, thank you very much for watching.